So every single business needs to have an adequate system in place to manage backups of your data. As a business, you cannot afford to lose data in some instances. In some instances, if you lose significant amounts of data, there could be a significant financial implication to your business. In worst case scenarios, you could potentially go out of business. So what replication is, is you're actually replicating the data from one location to another, generally on top of your backups. So you'd have your backups running every single day as normal, but then you'd have systems in place that can do full replication of servers or storage to alternate locations or even into the same location, so that in the event of a system going down, you don't have to manually go and build the systems again and then restore the data one by one from, the, you know, from those backups to their systems to get them back to the original state. So an example of replication is I could have a server built here and I could have all of the contents of that server being replicated to an alternate server that has some storage. So if this server goes down, this server can just be spun up and then you're good to go. Um, of course, this does not replace backups because if you lose both, then you're in trouble. The other thing that a lot of companies will do, a lot of the, the generally the medium, larger enterprise type of businesses, is they could have full SAN or NAS replication. So this is the NAS or the SAN, which is essentially a storage device containing multiple disks. You've got the backups running onto this device, and then you've got systems in place that do a full copy of the SAN and NAS data to an alternate location. So a good example would be a SAN, for example, has what's called LUNs, so they're groups of disks configured into pools and configured into LUNs, which are logical unit numbers. Um, they're just bunches of disks with data. You can have up a, a, a separate system, another SAN sitting in another location, and then have those LUNs replicated from point A to point B. But if your SAN goes down, you've got another SAN to spin up. Again, that could be on-premise, it could be off-site, preferably off-site. And then all you do is you just point your service to this new SAN, and then you're good to go. You can also have systems in place, that a lot of technologies available, where you can have not only SAN and server replication, but you can have that replication spun up in the cloud, consistently replicated up, and then in the event of a disaster where your on-premise data goes down, you can just spin up VMs essentially, you can spin up this data directly in the cloud, and bring up these servers directly in the cloud and still be operational while you're in the presence of restoring your data. Now, a lot of this technology, if you're talking about replication specifically, uh, you wanna use a terminology called CDP, which is continuous data protection. So you don't want to make sure, like your backups, for example, um, are going to be done every day or every week or every month. CDP, as the name suggests, is continuous data protection. So it's gonna be continuously replicating from one location to another. So you've got backups for your dailies, but then your data is being, being continually replicated between SANs, from, from your SAN up to the cloud, continuously. So that in the event of a disaster, in the event of data being lost, you really do not lose a whole day's worth of work if you have to go back to your daily backups because this data is continually up to date. So there you go, that is my overview. I really do hope, hope that you found this helpful. There's a lot of content to talk about and we could be talking about this for a very long time. But look, I'd love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts. I would also love it if you subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of channels, that are, a lot of videos that I release on my channel pretty regularly. Um, like my video as well and uh, we will see you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.